Good morning. Today I am at St. John's Shipbuilding and I'm here to check out Pride of Palatka 1. We've been operating Pride of Palatka 2. You've seen her in some of my videos. It's time to meet Pride of Palatka 1. So I'm going to give you a look in just a second and I'm here with Marsha from the city. We're going to be going through the whole boat. I've got all sorts of checklists. I'll share them with you at deepwaterhappy.com. All sorts of checklists on what we're looking for on the boat, anything that needs to be worked on, set up, changed, added, deleted, and hopefully there's nothing like that. And everything is perfect but it's going to be a couple hours of checking out the boats so here goes please like if you like the content and subscribe so you get to see the next thing that's coming up but now I'm going to head down to the boat as promised here's the first look try to pull out good one about to go on board and check everything out Interior. Floor. Oh, all right. Just checking things out. I'll forget to do this later. So, the first look has had a little bit of a slowdown. We are trying to go item by item in a logical manner. And this is one of the interesting things down here is the anchor and the clasp on it is so tight that I can't disengage it. And then I would have to get that anchor and toss it over. Also, that anchor locker's got a bunch of wasps in it. So, um, but here's our view. From where we are that goes a wasp <laughs> and we're checking the boat out it's it's a cutie it's very hot here here's our loading gate hopefully i don't know if i can get far enough away from this to show you but there's our gate and it goes to a winch the winch is completely exposed so i am recommending here some grip tape and then on all these spots that are trip hazards we're going to go with some yellow paint probably some handrails over here we've measured out all where the wheelchairs go we've measured all that to make sure uh, how we're going to accommodate people with disabilities and we're just sort of working through a punch list we came across an engine compartment that was full of water and the bilge pump is not working so we realize that the batteries are dead <laughs> so we're probably not operating today probably gonna move the boat somewhere where we can charge the batteries but we are working through our punch list and figuring out how to make it a safe vessel These guys have come to rescue us. I just They're going to tow us to where we can get plugged in. Alright, so we're actually getting to move down the river. Not at all the way we thought we were going to move. We have some auxiliary propulsion, which I'll show you in a moment. So here's where we were at the dock. I'm just going to fend off so we don't get this big fender stuck. It skips back here and we've got our friends who are actually providing the propulsion today. We're going for our first trip.
huge. They are. No, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the shipbuilders. Oh, the shipbuilders. Yeah, St. Yeah, John's shipbuilders. So big. And these little, these little push cogs they're making. Yeah. Have you seen them? No. This is one. No. They have five of them. Oh. There's one right here you'll get to see coming up. And what do they the do with them? On it. Yeah, what do they do with them? No, that's something else. That's, that's like a little house thing. House. That's so a house. <laughs> that ain't one of them. Where's your little push tubs I'll build? They're all gone right now. Oh, gee. <laughs> yeah, we got a couple that have been built. All the rest of them are gone. <laughs> You don't have any of them built sitting up. Well, there's one over there in my blast area. It's already. All right. We'll get to see you. Yep. So this is a fiberglass hull, and it was an electric boat, and then the aluminum superstructure was added. All right, well, our first day, try to pull that good one. A lot of work to do. Batteries are dead, so we couldn't test any of those items. We did as much as we could. We looked at as much as we could. We found as many flaws as possible that could be addressed later, and that's all we could do. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe to hear more about the story. Bye.